past two years, I've been pretty disappointed with the quality of pictures I've gotten from the M50. It seems like I've been underutilizing my camera. Who knows? What if I get a Canon ambassadorship in the future? Let me just have all my Canon gear on lockdown on deck. This is the 15245. So this is the 22mm. Hi guys, hope you are doing well. My name is Tukem Morgan and I'm a Nigerian based lifestyle vlogger, saxophonist and content creator. I put videos up every week on motherhood, fashion, natural hair, and all things lifestyle. So today I'm doing something super, super interesting. I used the Canon M50 and I put a video up about two years ago unboxing it and showing you what it came with. And I'll link to that video above, so if you're interested, you can watch it. So I got the Canon M50 with the kit lens, the 15 to 45 mm. I got it in like May 2018 and then towards like November I got the 22 mm pancake lens and that is what I'm currently using to film this video. Usually I film with natural light but I have invested quite a bit in gear. So now I'm using artificial light and filming with two soft boxes and a ring light. The ring light is actually coming from here and I like, I like the vibe it's giving me. Like if I put it off can you imagine? Can you imagine? But when it's on, like, look at it! And it's not even on the highest, like, it's actually almost at the lowest. Like, it goes from 10% to 100% and it's like at 15%. So, look at the difference with the ring light coming from the top. So, I actually haven't done, like, a tech or gadget related video since then. So, I just want to update you guys on what I've gotten. So, June is, like, my birthday month and my sister got me the ring light for my birthday present. I got my soft boxes in November 2018, but I never really used them or loved them as much. The reason I actually wanted a ring light is because I've been creating a lot of videos on TikTok and I just noticed that having a ring light makes such a huge difference and I do not regret this at all like ring lights mwah, ring lights plus the soft box I really really like so like I said I'm currently using the 22 mm lens and for my birthday I decided to invest in a new lens because I started off as a lifestyle blog and I did a lot of fashion post and I used to use my Nikon D3100 with the 50mm for my fashion pictures. The pictures came out really nice with the blurred background and everything but the autofocus had issues and it was just hard for people to take pictures of me. It involved a lot of directing and going back to check the pictures to make sure they were in focus so that's why I got the M50. I can control it with my phone and take pictures with my phone but I just feel like over the past two years, I've been pretty disappointed with the quality of pictures I've gotten from the M50. Like, I like the quality of videos I get from it, but I just had never actually taken really good pictures with it. Like, the first time I took really good pictures with it was, like, last month, May. I did, like, a Bantu knot, and I'll just link to that video above. You'll see the thumbnail for that video. It was taken with the Canon M50, and I was just like, whoa, this is actually a nice picture. It seems like I've been underutilizing my camera, and also just seeing other people who use this m50 on tiktok seeing the kind of pictures they've been putting up i've been like no no no, no. i actually have to figure something out because i'm not really feeling the quality i'm getting like i know things can be better i did a lot of research before i got the 22 mm but then the thing is it doesn't really have a long focal length i don't really want to go too technical but with a mirrorless camera my 22 mm is more like a 35 mm and then when you get a 50 mm it's more like an 85 mm so i got myself the Canon Nifty 50 for my birthday. It retails for about hundred pounds, hundred dollars. I got it for forty five thousand naira. I'll just show you. So this, this is the fifty mm, the one point eight stm. I got the stm because it doesn't make noise when it's auto focusing, and because this lens is actually for like Canon DSLRs, not for the mirrorless camera. So I had to get an adapter to be able to use it with my mirrorless camera, and I got the Canon adapter. So I got the adapter for about 40,000 naira, which also is like $100. The guy gave me a deal. It's usually 45k, but because I was buying both, he gave me this for 40k. Now, I watched a lot of videos and there are a lot of third-party brands that make adapters that you can use for the 50mm. There's Viltrox, there's Comlight, there's Mako, Movo, Metabones. Metabones is expensive though. There's just so many other brands that you can use their adapters and they are so 
so much cheaper like the com light and co are like thirty dollars forty dollars for the plane adapters but unfortunately they aren't available in nigeria the view trucks i saw in nigeria was thirty thousand naira and the guy was just like why don't you just put an extra 10k and actually get the one that is meant for the camera and who knows what if i get a canon ambassadorship in the future let me just have all my canon gear on lockdown on deck so that is why i got the adapter maybe in the future i will get the Viltrox speed booster because that doesn't change the 50 mm to an 85 mm it will be more like a 56 mm or something and there are like loads of videos of people comparing the normal adapter to the speed booster so definitely just search for it and you'll see it i will actually change this lens and put the 50 mm so you can see the difference but before then i just want to show you some of the other things i got so you know covid 19 came scattered everything scattered everybody's plans and everyone has been creating content from the comfort of their home now i've been creating a lot of tiktok videos and videos for youtube i've also been taking a few pictures but usually i take pictures with my phone like for the past one year like the whole of last year most of the pictures on my instagram page were actually taken with my iphone i used the xr i wasn't really using my camera but like I said, watching people's videos on TikTok made me realize I was underutilizing my camera. Now, this is my office. This is where I film. This is like what the back is like. Sometime last year, I was using a plain white background. I got a plain white PVC and I hung it there. But then I decided to get some colored backdrops for myself as a birthday present in addition to the lens and the adapter. And they're over there. I'm going to show you. I actually haven't opened it up, but I got purple, I got yellow, and I got a carton color. They call it carton in Nigeria. It's like a khaki color. And the backdrops are actually quite affordable. This is what professional photographers use. It costs 5,000 naira each. I was actually going to get fabrics because Kelechi and Yechi, they're both Nigerian YouTubers. They've put up videos showing the fabrics they use. They use crap. Dodos uses silk. I was actually talking to a fabric retailer and we had even finalized on the different colors I wanted to get in different materials. So crepe and duchess and bridal satin. Like just a mix of fabrics just so I could see which one I liked the most. I wanted to buy about four and a half yards of each fabric. And it was coming up to three six four five for each color and when i realized that these backdrops were like 5k each i was like you know what let me just get these backdrops to start off with and then as time goes by i can now then buy the fabrics just to switch things up a bit like silk so i really like this look with the ring light coming from the top i've actually never filmed it from the top i usually film with it in front of me i actually only use my two soft boxes i have a third one but the light bulb broke but my husband shout out to him got me a new light bulb and it only cost about one five so i'll probably set it up so that i can use it in future videos so yeah i am just gonna switch switch things up switch things up to the canon adapter and the 50 mm let's just open it I am excited like I actually got my first camera when I was in secondary school so 2008 like I've always loved photography and I just feel like I haven't really done photography the way I like to like I even attended Prince Macy and Lex Ash's class in like 2017 and that inspired like my versatility of natural hair series because i was just surrounded by so much learning my creative juices were flowing but things happened in 2017 it was just like a very busy year and then i got married 2018 got pregnant had my baby i feel like a lot of last year i was just focusing on video content for youtube i didn't really shoot like i only actually even had one professional shoot with shutter so i am quite excited to create content for you guys because I have a lot of clothes, I have makeup, I do my makeup pretty okay. So yeah, I'm going to make use of my resources and create more picture content. So this is the 50mm. This is it. I have the Nikon G3 100 with a 50mm. And you can actually use the Nikon 50mm on the Canon, but then you won't be able to do autofocus, you will only be able to do manual focus and because I'm doing a lot of self-portraits and self-shooting I was like, let me get this lens so this is the lens Jesus, this is the lens this is the lens and the reason I actually like the 22mm is because it is small and I got the Canon M50 because of its portability I'm so sorry if I'm talking fast but I'm actually just really as I can't even explain how excited I am like, jeez 
it's actually good to invest in yourself because I feel like sometimes a lot of us we just keep our money in savings and we don't believe in ourselves. Maybe we're just scared to actually shoot for our dreams or shoot for our interests. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this takes me, like the new content I'm going to be creating. So this is the this is the lens and this is the adapter. Honestly, you guys, I'm mind blown at how this ring light is just making me look so mad. Like, oh, like this thing is just, it's looking sweet. Like, I filmed a video earlier today. This is actually a twist out. And I just filmed a video of myself losing the twist. The thing about Nigeria is there's a lot of humidity. So your twist outs aren't going to stay as defined as they were initially. And I actually like it separated. I like it when the curls are popping, like. Anywho, it's time to switch things up. Bye! Okay. So this, on this side, like this is the 15 to 45 and this is the 50 mm. Yeah. So this is the adapter and I just like took this part out, which is for the back. And I'll just take... So this is it. It's just like a... It looks like a magnifying glass. This is the lens and you screw them in. So some people had said that, you know, with the calm light, there was some wiggling, there was some wiggle room. But obviously when you're using Canon to Canon, there won't be any wiggle room because they are made for each other. So I put the top bit so the two red dots aligned and then I turned it to the right and now it's clicked in place and I will just put it in. I will put it in. Okay guys, so I'm in the exact same spot I was before and look how like, obviously the 50mm so it's super close. I will just move back a bit. Wow. Interesting. I've like moved all the way back to the edge of my wall and see a lot of beauty bloggers and beauty creators. They film with a reflector but I don't really use mine. So let's just see. This is what the reflector adds when it's from the bottom. Um, I don't know. I haven't really figured out like, like this is the silver part. Okay, this is what the reflector adds. This is interesting. This 50 mm is interesting. To be honest, the reason I got it, like I said earlier, is because I want to take better portraits and have nice depth of field and the nice blurred background. I'm quite excited to take this outdoors to see how it performs. I'm just going to switch back to the 22 mm because this is just too close for me. Like, what? This is very close. Like, this is interesting though, like I feel it gives me the beauty blogger vibe. Should I put in my 15 to 45 mm just so you guys see how it looks? I really don't use this lens, like I can't remember the last time I actually used it, but I'll just put it in so you guys can see the difference. But look at the nice blur at the back, obviously I'm too close but I don't want to adjust the position of my tripod. I'm excited, I'm excited. This is the 15-245, so this is the 22mm and this is the 15-45 and you saw earlier the difference between the 15-45 and the 50mm so see, like see the size difference, see how small this 22mm is, that's why I got it because it's so tiny and portable. I'm just gonna switch over to the 15-45 and then I'll end up with the 22mm, wow. Okay, so this is the same lighting setup with the 15 to 45. Like, look how badly lit it seems. The thing about the 15 to 45 is that the lowest f stop is 3.5, that's why it looks so dark. I'll just increase the ISO just so it looks a bit better. Okay, so previously the ISO was 100, I've increased it to 320. You can see it looks a bit better. I will play around with the shutter speed now the shutter speed is 1 over 80 so it does look brighter and better lit I'm just going to zoom in so now it's like coming in so you can see the f stop is now f5 and it goes all the way to f6.3 so this is the lens at 55 mm and you can see it can't compare to the 50 mm the quality I'm getting let me just try and increase the ISO to see it's okay, but obviously the blurred background, we don't really have it. I'll zoom outwards. Okay. 
just I should have actually just set up my phone so I adjust on my phone instead of from the camera but I'm zooming out so now it's at like 24 mm it's actually not too bad it's not that bad it's a good lens but obviously the 22mm and the 50mm are like significantly better so this is the 50mm with the adapter and this is the 22mm can you see the difference? this 22mm is great for like when you don't really want to have that much load on you but even though this is significantly heavier I don't mind it because I care about the quality of my pictures like in my birthday vlog we went outside and took pictures but I, I just wasn't thrilled with the quality of pictures I was getting with the camera like I usually prefer the quality of pictures I get with my phone instead of this 22mm like especially for the full length shots I prefer what I get with my phone but hopefully with this 50mm I'll be able to take great portraits Portraits, great brogger like pictures this is actually it's not bad at all what this 15 to 45 mm is giving me when i started out with my camera like the first few videos i did so from let's say may 2018 to the end of the year well, with the 15 to 45 so i got pregnant and i wasn't really filming as much but you can go back and check out those videos and see what the 15 to 45 looks like but obviously everyone can tell if you look back that the 22 mm looks so much better the 50 mm looks better than this as well just because i can't take the f-stop any lower and yeah this is the same lighting setup my two soft boxes and the ring light coming from the top in the past i used to film with natural lights but now i'm just playing around with artificial lights a lot more so yeah this is actually not bad though. what this 15 to 45 mm is giving me is not bad at all it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad like my makeup looks great i'm popping <laughs> i'm popping my skin looks glowy and nice but i'm just gonna go back to my my 22 mm my faithful 22 mm and i have one other video to film and then i'm going to go outside and take pictures okay guys so we're back to the 22 mm let me know if you see a major difference between this and the 15 to 45 mm if you do use the canon m50 let me know what lens you use and which one is your favorite also if you want me to do some more comparisons just let me know honestly i love this i love this light effect i love what this ring light is giving me let me just switch off once again like see see how dark it looks without the ring light as in i don't know why i was like dolling myself and only using my two soft boxes i'm going to set up the third soft box so i can have a nice three point lighting system so yeah thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button let me know if you have any other video ideas in regards to the canon m50 make sure you check out my other videos and i'll catch you in the next one